Hello all, welcome to Cognito Hub channel. This is Venkata from Cognito Hub. You guys have supported me throughout my talent lectures and previous Tableau as well as SQL lectures. This time based on your request, I started doing content related to talent cloud. Here we will get to know the complete information related to talent cloud in a span of 10 lectures. And these lectures includes right from installation to scheduling jobs. And one thing I want to mention, if you still haven't subscribed to my channel, please do it now and share this channel to your friends and colleagues. And if you have any doubts related to Talent Studio or uh, Talent for Big Data or Talent Cloud, please comment it down. I will probably re reply within 24 hours. And lastly, please help Cognito Hub channel to reach more people around the world. It's time to get into the main video. Okay guys, in this video we are going to discuss about how to create a github repository and how to add that repository in studio as well as in the cloud. So previously we have seen about how to create a github token in the uh, in the github site. But now we are what we are doing uh, is we are going to know about how to create a github repository here. So for that what I am doing is I have logged into the github. So I am going to my site. Yeah. So here is my profile. So what I'm going to do is actually okay, I'm clicking on my profile and I'm clicking on repositories here. So if I click on repositories, I already have a two built-in repo, uh, not a built-in. I have already created two repositories here, but just for this particular scenario, I am going to create a new repository. Suppose if you don't have any repositories here and if you just created this GitHub uh, uh, account, then I will what I will say is clear uh, like just follow my steps uh, to create a new repository here and repository i am clicking the new here so if you click the new it will ask for a repository name and this repository name should not exist uh, anywhere so that's why it will like it will check whether that particular name is available or not if the name is not available then you need to change the name so for the repository name what i am going to do is i am going to give some talent projects yeah this uh, if you observe this i given the repository name as talent underscore projects and that talent underscore projects is available so that's why it, uh, it won't show any problem with my repository name and i am giving some description as uh, illustrating talent cloud with talent 7.3 studio and i am making this as a public I'm just I'm adding a readme file and I'm clicking on create repository so that's it that's simple it is creating a repository in uh, github so if you observe this under the sub under uh, sub bar of 517 I have a, a new uh, repository known as talent underscore projects with some description here so now what I'm going to do is I'm clicking on this code so when you click on this we will be having the HTTPS uh, site here I'm copying that and saving it somewhere so this is the site so for that what i am going to do is just we need to whenever you create a repository and if you want to add this particular repository into the talent cloud uh, like or uh, talent studio then what you need to do is you need to follow the uh, steps that i am going to do, uh, do now so here uh, in the https site click on that url and go to the talent cloud so now what you are going to do is go to the projects and here click on the add project here and here it will ask for a project name so i am giving a project name as uh, something known as cloud illustration or cloud jobs i am i will explain cloud talent jobs this is the job project name i am giving and in the case of github url i am pasting the whatever the github url that i, ha I have from the github uh, after creating the talent underscore projects uh, repository i am pasting it over here and one is by default it will be under my name intervengar subbaro and project description i am not giving anything here 
because that is not a mandatory one so I'm just simply saving it over here so that's it so this is how you need to create this and click on this as we don't have any users it is not showing anything so we have created this project here and now what you need to do is go to the repository again and what we did was if you don't oh sorry new repository yeah if you don't mention this particular connection uh, like uh, trial for 34027.us.talent.com it won't show you the projects that uh, we have currently but uh, if we mention the ca correct domain name now i am clicking ok so i think it will come now if not then we need to create a users and all so it needs to pick the projects from that particular user sorry from talent cloud it is not picking up the file set change oh it is not in the same connection so we did that connection in the new remote we just checked that in the previous remote connection initial one oh, for this one also it is showing the same okay then what we can do is uh, we will share this one to some users so if you go to the ta cloud talent jobs in the project section uh, click on share here share project here under the user click here pencil mark add uh, whatever the username that you have here currently I have that user so I have given the corresponding permission to this particular project and now I want to check this whether it is working or not So I click the new remote now. Yeah, so that's what happened previously. We created a project in this cloud, but we haven't uh, shared it with any of the user. But now what I did was I have shared it with uh, the username as my name that is Indvenkar Subbaro. And if you in if it is in your case, it is by default you will be having your name. And in the coming lectures, I will tell you how we can add a users and how we can assign those users to a particular group and how we can assign uh, all the permissions at a time to a complete group itself. But in this video, I just uh, like just to illustrate how we can implement this project, like how we can open the talent studio with that particular project and all. I have uh, just to illustrate that I directly uh, like added that user, uh, shared that uh, particular project to that particular user. And here if you observe here this particular cloud underscore talent underscore jobs is having two branches here one is master and another one is for branches slash main so i am clicking main main branch here and i am op finish clicking uh, finish so that's it for uh, talent loading so it will pop up for this one click on s so it will take some time to load the ta uh, like uh, talent studio so once it gets loaded completely then uh, you are good to do your jobs and all but uh, it will take some time to publish uh, like to publish jobs from talent studio to cloud i will tell you how we can do that and all but for now this is what the step so so far what we have seen is we have seen how to like uh, how to create a account in the talent cloud free version and how to create a personal access token in both clouds as well as in both talent cloud as well as in the github and how to create a repository in github and how to add that github repository to the talent studio uh, or to, to the talent cloud and how to share that particular repository to some other users and how that particular talent cloud project is uh, getting like uh, is uh, getting in the talent studio projects so that is uh, till now this is what the process that we did that means this is the complete uh, setup the initial setup what we are going to do in every project or whatever it may be so in the coming lectures i will explain you about how to add uh, new environments and how to uh, add some 
promotions a promotion tool how to use the promotion tool and how to create a users and groups i will explain you all those things in the coming lectures but this so far uh, with these three lectures this is what uh, we have learned so it is loading currently it will take some time so let me wait uh, till that particular tavern studio will run It tried, I think it loaded successfully. Yep, so this is how it comes. And I know, like, uh, once this uh, UA will come, I think you guys know what to do and what not to do because you guys are already familiar with the talent. Now you are learning just talent cloud. And if you are using the first time talent cloud, uh, if you are directly learning the talent cloud, then you need to know about uh, what exactly the talent studio, talent UA, and all. I have already explained all these lectures in my previous talent uh, for data integration. You guys, if you have any doubts, then you can go ahead and uh, you can look into that. So you click on the job designs. So you will be having empty folder in the standards and some job designs here. So directly you can right click on that and you can create a job and whatever it may be. So for, for now, I am not creating anything. Just I have shown you how to open the talent studio with all the credentials that you need and with uh, using some domain names and because i have the like i have used it with the business credentials but i haven't used it with my personal credentials but uh, just to illustrate you guys i have created i have done some research in this last two days and i have decided to do a videos on talent cloud with my credentials and all and while doing that i have faced a lot of uh, like hips and ups but finally i came to know that the one thing i want to mention is please note down that the username is nothing but a login name that you have with the domain name that you got uh, when you are uh, like when you are creating a account with the talent cloud so make sure that you have remembered that and one more thing in the talent studio like uh, what we have is in here uh, uh, in the projects in the talent cloud whenever you created a project with the github details you make sure that you have shared it with the one of the user uh, probably that is the main user that you have uh, like if you have if you don't have any users here please share it with whenever you create whenever you install it by default you will be the user so you can directly use you can directly share it with your user itself so no issues with that so that's all for this video guys, thank you for watching.